So I've come down here this evening to Mount Pettis um, to check out this river, just a section of the river I've never been before. Now I saw a friend who'd taken a picture uh, earlier on on Instagram and uh, what caught my eye down here was the colours of these stones so I thought I'll pop down there and uh, see what it's like but I've just seen this tree over here which is uh, caught my eye uh, I find it interesting I've got my wellies on so uh, I'm going to get into the river and uh, try and find a composition um, I think I'm going to get very low uh, to the water as possible uh, definitely put a polarizer on this uh, because the colors of the uh, stones underneath are what really attracted it to me um, I'm also probably thinking of uh, smoothing it out to make it more interesting uh, who knows I've got to be careful um, I can't afford to uh, lose anything else again so uh, I'll head in and see if we can uh, figure a composition out uh, from the river over here I think my best bet uh, is to get that tree on the left of the frame uh, as much as possible. I don't want too much of this bank in it, uh, so I'm just trying to trying to work the composition where I don't have much of this ban uh, bank on the left hand side. Uh, I just love the way this tree sticks out. Um, I love the colours on the uh, on the uh, riverbed here. Uh, it just makes it. So uh, and by going low, I really want to enhance that as much as I can and probably do a long exposure and so on. So uh, yeah, I'm going to take the image from here and uh, see how it goes. I'll tell you what caught my eye here. I just love the, the uh, light that's spilling on the uh, mountain over here. You can actually see the waterfall where it's lit up. But I love the uh, colour of, of the trees just below it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've now got a 70 to 300 lens. Uh, I'm going to see if I get a nice composition. Uh, right in the foreground here you've got the fence, you've got these uh, dead grass here. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's a nice orangey, coppery colour. You've got the fence, you've got the different greens on the tree, the light spilling on the mountain, some, some nice moody clouds. So yeah, I'm going to set up with the 70 to 300 and uh, see how good it is. So yeah, so what I've uh, done here, I've gone on the uh, vertical shot here. I've got the uh, dead bra bracken, whatever you call it, uh, with that coppery colour lovely light hitting everything i've got the uh, fence post there the different type of green trees and the light just spilling on the uh, mountain behind uh, it just looks really beautiful plus i've swung over to here there's a nice little peak here and every now and then the light keeps catching it looks really nice uh, but what's making it is that moody clouds uh, so it's giving it nice contrast so yeah i think i've got a couple of nice images uh, from over here um, I like that waterfall in the far end over there. I'm sure that's where I was trying to get to uh, a couple of years ago. I'll have to reattempt that again at some time, at some point, and uh, see what it's like. So, um, 
Or was it? No, I think that's something else. I'm not too sure. So yeah, I'll uh, put them two shots up now. This tree here it's really uh, caught my eye um, just waiting for some nice light to hit the green uh, leaves on it I think I've got it there um, so I've got a polarizer on this so I've got a polarizer on this um, I was going to do a long exposure but it wasn't going to work out simply because the bottom part of the uh, image is dark and on an angle I've got so much light on the other side so I'm having to bracket this shot with a 0.9 soft grad uh, for the uh, left of the frame but I've got some nice light on that tree now and creep gore really caught my eye yeah I really like this image well it looks good here hopefully uh, I'll be able to capture it on the uh, image but some nice light coming on creep gore there now and some nice light hitting that tree So as you've seen, uh, that bank just collapsed that I was standing on. I was, uh, I just liked the way the water was coming down and joining into another stream and I was trying to look for a composition. Uh, but there wasn't anything and then the bank just collapsed underneath my feet. Um, wasn't expecting that. So I'm looking for the final shot tonight. I'm not sure I'm gonna find it here. Um, I like this wall here, but it uh, doesn't do anything. There's nothing to photograph here. It's a nice, uh, bit of water here if you fancy a swim uh, really looks nice very greenish in color so yeah um, I'm just gonna well, I think I'm done on this end I'm gonna take another walk down on the bottom and uh, see if we can get another uh, composition to finish this off it'd be nice just to have another thing something else in the water but um, yeah So I don't think I'm going to get any uh, anything else with the river because I'm kind of lost the light. Uh, sun's dipped behind the mountain, so the only light left now is on top of the mountains. So I'm going to test my 70 to 300 uh, lens out and uh, got some nice light hitting on these peaks over there. Um, I love the trees here on this hill, um, and it, it's like a layer. There's light behind the mountain there and creep core, so it's like three different layers but the light there is just beautiful there's another peak here uh, that's getting the light on it now and I'm gonna take probably a couple of images here and I think that's gonna be it for 
this vlog. So, uh, it's been a, quite a nice evening. Uh, lucky, the light's going out, so I managed to capture the light. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm surprised I had uh, as many compositions here, really. Uh, I like the first one. Uh, I, don't know, I think there's a couple here that I quite like, so uh, I'm glad I found these uh, images down here. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I'm gonna put on the credits now uh, for those who've uh, helped me out with the Kofi. I'll uh, put the name on the credits now and thank you very much for your support. So yeah, so uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and until next time, bye.